So this question is a diagram question, first and foremost, because we have this table provided here. So anytime I have a table, I like to look at it before reading the actual question, just to get a good sense of like what's going on here, what do I have? Um, so the title is a good place to start. So the title says number of registered voters in the United States in 2012 in thousands. Uh, experience tells me that it's very important to remember that, that these are not the actual numbers. Um, it's actually 1,000 times the numbers that we have here, right? So instead of 2,713 for the number I just circled, it's actually going to be 2 million. 713,000. So what do we have? Registered voters. So I have different regions, Northeast, Midwest, South, and West. And then I have different age ranges, 18 to 24, 25 to 44, so on and so forth, right? We can read all that. And then I have, to I have total totals here and totals here as well. So now I'm going to read the question. So the question says, the table above shows the number of registered voters in 2012 in thousands, right? So they tell us again, in four geographic regions and five age groups, which I already know because I took a second to take a look at it. Based on the table, if a registered voter who was 18 to 44 years old, right? So let's erase this because I, I did all that just to kind of go through it for you to see what I would actually do on the test is as soon as I see 18 to 44, I would box this out because that means I only really care about these columns, right? So if a registered voter who was 18 to 44 years old in 2012 is chosen at random, which of the following is closest to the probability that the registered voter was from the Midwest region? So whenever I see the word probability, on the SAT, I'm gonna think fraction, all right? I want you to think fraction. Where the numerator is what I want and the denominator is the total. So usually the total is easier to find first. Honestly, they're both easy to find, but I like to find, I like to write in the total first. So since I'm looking at ages 18 to 44, my total for ages 18 to 44 year olds come from these bottom uh, numbers here. So I'm going to go to my calculator and just find out, well, what is 14,766 plus 47,896? Because that gives me the total number of voters in that age range. And what I get here is 62,662. And then what do I want, right? I want them to be from the Midwest region. So for the Midwest, I'm looking here. And the Midwest for that age range, again, more math to do, more addition to do. So I'm going to add 3,453 plus 11,237. And what I get there is 14,690. So I'm going to take this to my calculator. So 14,690 divided by 62,662. And what I get is 0 0.23. Four, four. Um, I don't see that exact number in my answer choices, but I go back and I see that the question does say which of the following is closest, right? So 0.25 is the closest thing I have here to 0.2344. So my answer here is choice B.